Kind of an area for debate, I guess. Um, kind of like a builder preference in one way. Um, just as a background on 4L60Es and 700R4s, in the case there is actually a check ball capsule um, or a captured check ball, as some call it, that you cannot uh, that usually doesn't come out during rebuild. Uh, and most people just spray cleaner up in there and and wash it out and you can see it in the servo bore it is usually right here I don't know if my camera's picking it up let me turn it towards the light okay right there in that gap between those two passages where my fingers pointing uh, there's a capsule with a check ball in it and it's got little windows in it and this is it right here I've pulled it out with a tap I'm sorry, a screw extractor. Um, it's a little bit of work to get these things out, but it's well worth it because if you don't have that in there, you won't have third gear, and you may also not have second gear as well if that cap, so if that ball either is sticking or has uh, debris in it. Now, this is the ball from it. It actually fell out uh, when I flattened the bumps that hold the ball in to get the screw extractor in. Um, and I'll go over how you get those out in a minute for the do-it-yourselfer guys. Um, now, with that being said, there is a solution, I guess, uh, in the aftermarket, and it's this. This is made by Sonax, which, um, whether you know or not, uh, they solve, they produce a lot of problem solver parts. And this is this has a check ball already in it, and you pound this up in this uh, area right here where the capsule is and it basically piggybacks it and I don't like this idea I, I think it's kind of a hack because uh, you have to make sure it's pounded in correctly and it, and it still goes over top of that ball and if that ball decides to suddenly work for some reason then you have two of these things floating around in the circuit so the right solution that I use is a brand new check ball capsule this is the AC Delco but you can get it from your transmission shop um, they're like ten bucks and you just have to pull out your old one and push this one in and uh i used a screw i'm sorry a screw extractor i can't remember what size this is but i had to grind the shank down uh on the bench grinder so that it's kind of a uniform all the way back to here uniform size so it will actually fit up in there and grab it and then you just tap it in lightly with a hammer and put your vice grips on the back and pull it out and uh, they're in there pretty snug. You have to you have to set them in pretty snug too as well because they're a press fit. Um, but that's where it goes, and you can see the hole in there where it goes, and that actually exhausts into the case uh, out of this hole right here. This this kind of uh, the bigger hole of the two there that are on the side. So uh, it's very important that 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 this is either replaced if you suspect it being bad. And I replace them anyways because you can't get it all the way clean when you're rebuilding um, just by spraying or anything like that. So it's easier just to pull the thing out and tap a new one in and be done with it.